Minerals, a resource firm focused on lithium projects in South America. We are having a conversation about the end user there, the lithium ion batteries, for instance, used in uh, some of the smartphones, but also the product used in electric cars. There has been enormous demand in recent years. I want to ask you about the concerns that have been raised recently as you've had fires and some explosions around batteries of the likes of Tesla, Boeing, and the latest being Samsung in the past week. Yes, I, you know, those are kind of unfortunate situations, but the technology for lithium batteries is relatively new, yeah, and everybody is using them. So there's millions and millions of batteries out there, and it has been very relatively few incidents but it's a technology that's not that old but you know the other side of that is it's going to save millions and millions of life you know uh, like anti-pollution uh, situations around the world so you know you have to sort of kind of uh, see the benefits of, of lithium batteries coming into the market yeah do you have a view on why there have been so many problems in the manufacturing process no I, I, I you know that's a long ways away from where I am I'm in the resource sector and I have to say batteries are the end product and we are at the beginning of the uh, of the cycle so let me ask you about the demand and how it's changed over recent years what's the escalation being based on this incredible demand that's started to come through the system well if you I just was in China last week actually and, and you look at some of the battery companies there and the growth potential that they have is just unbelievable I mean you know cities in China are polluted unbelievably badly and so there has to be something done so electric vehicles electric buses electric trucks this, this is the future Future, yeah. Hey, and I can't see anything that, that, that dim, dims this story, and that worries me because I, I, there has to be some reason that will keep you up and not worrying about the growth of this. I, everything you're just saying about the growth of EV across the board, I only see a positive story. What's the potential downside? Is there the, the amount of product that will go on the market to satiate that demand could actually outweigh and actually prices could collapse? I, I, you know, it's going to be very difficult to catch up with demand for the for the near future because, you know, it's not that easily and readily available to get new uh, mines into production in the lithium space. I I have to say the growth is. Remember, the, there's a whole shift whereby, you know, you go to the gas station, you drive around, you have a gas station every corner. Yeah. So now you're going to have a charging station at every corner. So that it's just a process okay, that so the world goes through. just me the answer, and that came from the mining industry and from the oil industry as well, is that is the cost of getting the engineers, cost of getting the mines up and running, your cost curve, the same as your, your price curve, the cost curve is going up aggressively as well. That's potentially the problem, yeah? Well, potentially, but that's why... Me, I, I, we are focused actually in Chile, which is where the lowest cost production is in the world for, for, and, and the lithium there comes out of lithium brines. So it's only, the cost of, of production there is about $2,000 a ton, yeah, and, and then, you know, the prices are, you know, as high as $20,000 a ton now in the spot market. So, so your outlook on um, the profitability of the lithium mining business is still pretty strong from here. Oh, yeah, one yeah, takes yeah. it, even but as we see headwinds for most of the mining sector because of excess capacity globally. Yeah, but it depends on how you produce. If you, you know, there's two ways to produce lithium. It's coming out of hard rock, hard rock or it's coming out of brines. The brines are much, much cheaper to produce from, and that's in South America. That's Chile, Argentina, Bolivia. Well, you, can, you can kind of cancel Bolivia in terms of production anywhere near term. But so it's Chile, Argentina, and those are fairly low-cost production situations. Mm -hmm. I think we've got to wrap it up, unfortunately. But Hank, it's been lovely to have you uh, in. Thanks very much for joining us, uh, Hank Van Alphen, uh, the CEO of. Wealth Minerals. Right, uh, coming up on the show, uh, the seeds have been sown, but will a deal blossom? We'll bring you the latest on the Biomonsanto Takeover Tour.